Hey, this is a quick guide on how to set up this Zeitz Pentero microscope, uh, mostly for otology cases, sometimes from the head and neck cases. Uh, I'm early into this room, so I'm going to go ahead and set it up. It takes about five minutes total. So go ahead and make sure it's plugged in. Uh, lots of times the cleanup crew will unplug it. And then a lot of people don't know about this power button on the back. Flip that on. And when you do that, it takes about three minutes for it to boot up. Um, don't go looking on the monitor right here um, because there are nothing uh, to turn it on from. So while it's booting up, I'm going to go ahead and be efficient with my time and start adjusting the uh, microscope observer arm. Uh, the main thing is for head and neck free flap cases, uh, the observer port is going to be um, face to face from each other. And then for otology cases, you want to put the observer arm on the opposite side of the surgery. So right now the observer arm is on the right and I'm gonna put it on the left side right here because uh, we're gonna do a right side of case so I'm gonna put it on the left side. So there's this little black ring here, it says open and there's a little arrow, you twist that to the right. I would use two hands to kind of slowly pull it out. Um, it is surprisingly heavy, probably about like 15 pounds or 10 pounds. And then look on the side, there's a little black cap there, pop that off, put it on the other side to prevent dust from getting in. And then when you look at the edge of the port, there's actually two little like brackets on the side here, one there, and then there's a little divot on that side. And you're going to try to line it up parallel with uh, inside of the tube that you're going in there. Um, it is deceivingly tricky to put it in there, but once you get the hang of it, you kind of just shimmy it shimmy it in there and then go ahead and uh, turn that black ring counterclockwise to tighten it. And then once you have that done, I would go ahead and use two hands to kind of like make sure that it's well seated because I mean that arm is thousands of dollars. Um, so you don't, you don't want to be the one that makes it fall. Um, go ahead and zero these eyepieces. There's some lines on the eyepiece itself and um, go ahead and do it on the observer port and also for the surgeon. Normally it's zeroed, people don't mess around with it too much. And looks like the microscope is booted up already. And these arms here are to adjust the handles of it. Um, those are times you don't have to mess around with it too much, but I'm going ahead and making it so that it can auto balance well. So now I'm going over to the screen. I'm going to put the microscope intensity at 50% because um, we want to minimize the amount of heat that's going on the surgical field. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that off up top. And here there's uh, two settings you have to change in the configuration. So go to the very end where it says tube and you want to make sure it's pressed left and right for the otology cases. You can use face to face for the head and neck cases. And then that last setting right there is focusing uh, dots. Um, some attendings will not use it. Most most of the people at Emory do use it. Um, and then go back to menu and press auto balance. And with auto balance, it's probably the most interactive part. So you're going to try to move that white dot uh, into the blue square. And how you do that is you go behind the arms press the buttons on the back with your index finger and then I'm moving it into that square. And once it's right in the middle, then you go back to the monitor, press complete auto balance system, which is at the very top. And that's it. Um, so main things are to make sure that the observer ports on the correct side of the arm. I remember the first time I was in an otology case, um, the attending was like, well, guess you're not going to see anything because I didn't move it to the right side. Um, so just making sure that everything is all set up here. Um, the auto balance takes about a minute for it to kind of uh, move around. Don't touch it while it's doing its thing. And that's all. I would go ahead and kind of fold up the entire microscope. Press OK that you're done. And push it the arm back in so it doesn't take up too much room and push it towards the side of the room until the patient's in and have fun with your case.